Hi, I am Jose Marama, also known as The Parabox, and I welcome you to this Blender course. I am a 3D artist, and I work creating characters for video games and animation projects. And in this course, I will share with you the techniques I use in my workflow. Nowadays, we are surrounded by visual content and endless possibilities for 3D creation. And if you want to get into this world, there's a perfect tool to get you started. Blender is one of the most powerful and accessible 3D modeling tools out there. It is completely free, and most importantly, it has all the potential you need to create anything, from simple designs to the most advanced projects. With nearly a decade of experience in this field and over 17,000 students enrolled, I have created this complete Blender guide just for you. This complete course is made up of seven chapters, where you will learn, in a practical and fun way, the most important aspects of the program. In the first chapter, you'll learn to navigate the interface, move through 3D space, and master the basic tools so you can work with confidence from day one. In the second chapter, the fun begins. We'll dive into subdivision modeling to create organic shapes, starting with simple models to apply the key concepts and work our way up to creating models like a piggy bank and a burger. Next, I will teach you how to create hard surface models. You'll learn techniques like the use of support loops and Boolean operations, creating models like a robot, electronic accessories, and a sword. In Chapter 4, we'll explore the modifiers, powerful tools for creating complex shapes with a non-destructive workflow. We'll make objects like spiral staircases, mechanical tentacles, and much more. Then we'll dive into digital sculpting. You'll learn to use the brushes and sculpt models that will help you understand important concepts like silhouette and proportions. And we'll explore this technique with both organic and hard surface models. To bring your models to life, we'll work with the Shader Editor, a procedural tool that will help you create professional textures and materials. And we'll add visual effects to take your creations to the next level. In this chapter, you can experiment with your own models or use those included in the downloadable resources. And lastly, we have the final project, where we'll put everything you've learned into practice by creating this fantasy character. From initial blocking and refining shapes, to texturing and final rendering, this project ties everything together, giving you a complete 3D creation experience. This course is perfect for anyone who wants to master 3D modeling in a practical and fun way. If you have never opened a Blender before, you will start from scratch and build the skills to create 3D projects with confidence. Are you ready to take your 3D skills to the next level? Join the course now and let's dive into the world of 3D creation with Blender. Well friends, welcome to this course. In this video, I will guide you through the content we have in the chapters so you can get a general idea of what you will learn and what you can expect at the end of the course. Unlike the trailer, we will have nine chapters, as I will also include the introduction and the epilogue. We begin with the introduction. We have the instructor's presentation and the course presentation, where we are at this moment. We'll talk a little bit about Blender's potential and the current state of the program, as well as the constant updates and technical requirements. And finally, we have the course resources. Here, we have the important links for the course, such as the student group and the downloadable resources like the class files. The second chapter is essential for any beginner. We'll take a look at the fundamentals of Blender here. Let's see how we can navigate the interface, how to master the transformation tools, and how to move in 3D space with complete confidence. In addition to the editing tools and basic modifiers, we will also see how we can create a simple material and how we can set up a scene for rendering. And this is very important so that from the beginning you can create basic renders of your own models. This will allow you to see your progress and will help you stay motivated as you advance with the course. In the third chapter, we move on to the practical part. In this chapter, we are focused on organic modeling. We are going to explore techniques for creating models with smooth surfaces. We are going to apply the basic concepts with simple objects and move on to more detailed projects like the ones we have here. In each of these models, we will see different important concepts and work on models with curved shapes and smooth surfaces. 
In the fourth chapter, we delve into hard surface modeling, which is essential for creating objects with rigid or manufactured surfaces. Here, we are going to learn some technical aspects such as geometry flow and support loops. We will also look at some techniques such as Boolean operations, the use of bevel, as well as some secrets to make your life easier with this type of modeling. This chapter is ideal for learning to work with precision and create mechanical or industrial objects. We put these concepts into practice with the models we have on screen. The fifth chapter is dedicated to modeling with modifiers. Blender modifiers are very powerful tools for creating complex shapes in a non-destructive way. We will look at the most important modifiers and combine them efficiently to achieve a wide variety of practical applications. With this knowledge, we will be able to create advanced models like the ones we have here on screen. In the sixth chapter, we are going to explore digital sculpture. Let's start playing a slightly more artistic component. First, let's see how we can use the brushes and which sculpting methods are more viable for each situation. Let's start our practice with this little horse. It's going to be a first practical approach. And then we will move on to these other models that are more detailed, where we will achieve different types of details on the surfaces. We have soft surfaces, we have rigid surfaces, and we have a latest model with both features. It is an organic model, but with qualities of rigidity. The seventh chapter is about material creation. Let's see how we can create procedural textures using Blender's Shader Editor. Starting with basic concepts like texture nodes and the mixing nodes, let's see what a complete workflow looks like for creating professional materials for both hard surface models and organic models. For the example, we have this little robot and the dragon we have on one of the previous slides. And finally, we will see how to create post-processing effects for our renders using the compositor to finally give them a professional finish. In Chapter 8, we will put everything into practice in a final project, which will be the creation of this little frog. In this project, we will do a basic blocking of the entire character, and we will be refining each part by applying techniques from the previous chapters and some new techniques. At the end of the project, you will have a complete 3D character that demonstrates all the skills you acquired throughout the course. And finally, in the epilogue, we have a talk with recommendations to help you continue improving your skills in Blender, and to see what other paths we can take now that you have a solid foundation. You will also have extra content with additional information and coupons for other courses with which you can complement your learning. This would be all the course content. I hope you learn a lot in each chapter, and we'll see you in the next videos.